100 day trade setups for today. So just starting off on the weekly because we are in an area of really high significance for me and that's this swing low area here. So the line in the sand here is pretty much 28, 28, 20, 2800. I think you can actually put in two levels here. But that sort of covers most of the interaction in this level. So what we're looking at is 2798 and 2820. Okay, um, some other bit of significance here is this uh, trend line here in the weekly, but we're going to readjust that on the lower time frames because that trend line has broken. So you can see there it is on the weekly, but if we bring it into the daily, we closed on it and currently we are below it. So we've opened even, fallen it down a bit, come back to test it. So that's pretty much the, the scenario that, that I can see right now. And uh, to be quite honest, my bias has turned bearish and it has turned bearish based on the breakout and the daily close below uh, 28.35. Okay, so let's just get down to the three hour here. You can see actually we can just fine tune that and get the exact level there. So the break below this area here has definitely triggered a short for me. Okay, this is the head and shoulders. There's a the shoulder, there's the head, there's the shoulder. This is on the three hour. So 28.32 is triggered my short. I am in short stoppers up here. <clears throat> it's a small enough position to carry a 700 point stop loss at the moment until we get going. Um, obviously, what I'm looking for is a break below uh, 27.98. It's just bring it up to the round number of 2800. Okay, because that's pretty much what's happening at the moment. So we have a bit of had a bit of a bounce here, but there's nothing really concrete. And then the second thing that we have here is we have a downward trend line, which could be, depends how you look at it, could be a channel. Or could be a wedge and we're at a level okay so it's just something to to keep in the back of your mind right so we've had one move down we've had a minor pullback that pullback didn't come back to test an area um, I would have liked it to come back and test this breakout here uh, sort of test the moving averages but didn't come and test the, the price action at all before bouncing off and then finding support at 2800 and pretty much going sideways since then. Okay, so with that in mind, let's just take this level out. There are our two areas that we need to pay attention to. We can actually take this one out as well. So those are the two levels we need to, to pay attention to. A break above 2832, a break and a retest would more than likely break this downward trend line, come back and retest the trend line. That's going to give me an upside target to come and test this area of 28.37. Okay, uh, a break below 2800, so a break and a retest of that area is going to get me long. And the long that we're looking for is pretty much this area here. Okay, there is a bit of a gap to the downside below that, so that may also act as a secondary target. We just put that gap in down there. Right, so 2800 break, we're looking ultimately to target 2636 um, and then possibly this gap at 2487. Break below that, we are definitely looking at the previous lows. Now, if we just get our Fibonacci's in here, because there's two Fibonacci's you need to look at. The first Fibonacci. And I can just do this on the hour for us. We just three minutes. Okay, so the first Fibonacci, you can see the 61.8 is pretty much on that target area. Okay, and there is a gap there. Sorry, 61.8 is up here. There's your gap there. Okay, you can see the structure on the 61.8 on the hour as well. See that triple top there? And we've got a triple bottom here. So that is fairly significant. Uh, 
got that in as a target area to start with, uh, then what you should find is a bounce off that any structure that sets up for the move down will get you back in short. What you also need to bear in mind is you can see the 38.2 Fibonacci is just below the swing low, but just have a look to the left here. You can see there is structure there as well. Okay, and then the 50%, just below the 50%, there is more structure. If I go to the left, um, pretty much in no man's land, but there is a little bit of structure on the 50. If you look at it on a four hour, you'll see a little bit clearer. There's a 30, 38.2. So that's definitely looking like an area which we need to pay attention to as well. Um, the 50%, not really much. And then you have the 61.8. Okay. So pretty much what you're looking for is a move like that, probably a take profit area, bounce up to test something, another entry to get in long or add to your position to ultimately target the 61.8. Right, I said there's two areas we need to pay attention to. Come back to the daily. That was the first move back. So you see we had this move, a little bit of a pullback, and that's this last move now. Now if we take the whole move into account, you'll see 61.8 now becomes onto this level at gap close. Okay. So those are the two long-term targets that I've got at the moment. So the first one is 2636 and the next one is 2487. Is it going to get there? Who knows, guys? This is a, a moving target. You've got to trade what you see and uh, keep your wits about you. Okay. So at this stage, trend is down. We are clearly in a, trend, in a downward trend. We've tested moving averages here on the hour. We've had a second, so first move, one pullback, second move. So obviously the next thing that we're looking for is a break below the swing low. We got a break below the swing low, should we move, back, move down? Is it gonna go down on a straight line? Probably not. It's gonna do exactly what we're doing here. So it's gonna come up, fall, come up, fall, until we find the level that the bears are looking for. Okay, once the bears have found that level, which that to me it makes a lot of sense, the amount of, uh, so, so you've got a triple top, you've got another touch there, and even if I go back further, you can see all the tails at that level there. So that definitely is a target area right now. Okay, so pretty short and sweet, uh, nice setup. Uh, I suppose the other thing that we need to just bear in mind is that this here trend line has broken, haven't retested it yet, but on the four hour we've got a crossover now. We've also below the 150 EMA at the moment. I do expect it to be a bit choppy here at the 150 EMA until I make it going, even if it does move up to the upside to come and find a level to bounce off. It doesn't really matter to me right now. The only thing that's going to change my bearish stance right now is a new high above 28.85. Okay, so provided we are below that, I'm looking for us to get below 2800, and then I want to see what happens here at 2640. If we do find some support here, or if we just have a bit of a bounce up and then another attack at it, which is what I would expect. I'd expect it to bounce, come down, bounce, come down, bounce, come down. And the same as what's happening at the 2800. We came down, bounced off it. We've come down and we're bouncing again at the moment. And right now it does look um, like we could be forming a bottom of a range. So, but as I say, those are the two areas that we need to pay attention to. This trend line has broken. Um, there is a head and shoulders that's broken as well. There's actually two head and shoulders that are broken. That's the first one. Okay, so the neckline of that one is 28.34. And then um, there is another one here that I'm not really keen to call this one out. So this is a shoulder, this is a head and a shoulder, a diagonal head and shoulders. Mm, not really keen to do it. For me, I think it's just a trend line break and my target area is rather going to be that to start with. Okay, I fine tune it right over there would be a first area of, um, to look at and then obviously break of that I'm looking at 26.40. Okay, 
Anyway, guys, that's um, that's my view on the S&P at the moment. Uh, obviously, not really going to read much into what's transpiring right now. It is the Asian session right now, so anything's possible. I think this is our range for now. So we're probably just going to bounce around here for a bit before deciding what we do. Even if we do break to the upside, um, we've got so much resistance to the upside at the moment that we've broken through. Plus a trend line, I think. Uh, the probability of us breaking through that at the moment with sentiment is not that great. So I think we're probably going to just muck around here for a bit before bouncing to the downside. We do get above 28.34. Definitely there is a, a short scalp to the upside. But I think you'll be capped by this area here of 28.85. Okay. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for me today. I hope that helps. And we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.